In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the offset tool in Lightburn. If you're making parts that need to fit together tightly, like inlays or puzzle pieces, you need to allow for the kerf that the laser makes when it cuts through the material. I'm going to show you how to do some tests to determine the correct offset distance for your laser and the material that you're using. This diagram will show you how the laser cuts on a curved line. On my laser, I don't have a round beam. It's kind of an oval shape, and according to my specifications, it's 0.06 millimeters wide and 0.08 millimeters tall. So if I have two parts here, I need to offset them about the height of that laser beam. And I usually start with this bigger amount, 0.08 millimeters. So if I'm offsetting part A, I'll offset it 0.08 millimeters here, and the laser will cut down the center of that line and leave this amount here for the part. And I'll do the same thing on part B and offset it that same amount, 0.08 or, or some, somewhere close to that. And then it will cut down the center of that line and leave this amount here. And as you can see, as you come into a tighter curve, because the laser beam stays in that same orientation as it moves around, it leaves a little more material. It's going to cut to here and here. So this part's going to be a little bit bigger. Both of these parts will be a little bit bigger right in here. And it's going to keep it from coming together perfectly. And as it moves down the curve, you can see that it's leaving a little more material between the line until it gets to a shallower curve and it starts to come together. All right, I brought some sample shapes into Lightburn, and these are the actual cutouts that I'm going to be using in my project, and I just sort of took a sample of them and cut them out. And now I'm going to duplicate them by using Control D and moving them over. I'll do Control D again, move them over. So now I've got a collection of these shapes that I can change the offset on. I'm going to leave this first one at zero, and then I'm going to change the label first. Wait, 08 here, and point oh eight now I'm going to pick this shape pick the offset tool I'm going to move it put 0.08 in here and make sure this is set on corner if you have any kind of sharp corners in here so it offsets it in a sharp corner and it's offsetting outward hit OK and then you can delete that original shape. Let's pick this one. The offset tool 0.08. You can select this delete original objects, but I usually don't because I like to kind of visually inspect that and then I'll just delete it. Now I've done the same thing to these other shapes. So I've got a zero offset offset 0.08, offset 0.09, and an offset, offset 0 0.10. And now we're ready to cut these. I've created this rectangle here that is the size of the paper that I'm cutting these parts out of. And then I moved it down to the lower left. That's where my machine origin is. And now I'm going to lock that shape so that it's not going to move on me. This allows me to still, if 
I go to Cuts and Layers, I'm on the Tool layer here, and I can still frame that. If I pick this, it'll frame that shape on the laser, and I make sure that I'm everything I cut is within this piece of paper. Then if I select Cut Selected Graphics here, if I pick just these, I can go up here and play this, and it's only going to cut those two shapes that are offset 0.08. If I hit Start, it'll cut them on the machine. And then if I want to just cut these, or I could cut all of them if I want to. After you've found the right offset distance, then you can cut all your pieces and start to put them together. So you can see how you can get a collection of these cuts that have different offsets, and then you can test them and see what is giving you the best fit. And then that'll tell you what the offset is. It usually changes with the thickness of the material because you're eroding a little more of the edge when you go when you make more passes to go through thicker material I'll start with 0.08 millimeters and then increase it a little bit and I found that 0.10 seems to work pretty well for thicker material like cardstock or quarter inch plywood if you find these videos helpful please subscribe like the video and comment below if you have any questions thank you